perfect date starts in a small cafe There's hearts everywhere cause it's Valentine's Day We order up waffles to share the whole plate Sit by the window and start to debate There's nobody else I'd rather spend my every day with Hello everyone and welcome to their main today where we talk travel lifestyle and how I fund them and Today I will take you to another day in the life of a software engineer except we will spend the day just coding. I don't have a lot of meetings today so it's really just going to be focusing on code and that is basically what we do every day. I was actually meant to go to the office today but the weather is a bit gloomy and it takes an hour and a half to get to the office and you know, is it worth it? <laughs> hey, I have adjusted to the work from home life maybe too well and it's really hard to get back. I do seem extroverted and out there and social but I do enjoy my me times and that is why I enjoy being a software developer because I don't always have to be out there talking to people. I just scream at the computer and that is the best part. So my meeting is in 20 minutes. Um, I will take you to all the shenanigans and all the events and everything I do in a day in the life of a software engineer. Okay, no one asks, but here is my desk setup. It's a very pink and simple, and I just don't need anything else but my Mac. It's daily stand-up time, and I thought I'd show you how animated and enthusiastic I was when talking about my proposed JSON data structure changes. I mean, talk nerdy to me. As a software engineer, we have a backlog of work and then you just chip away from that backlog. Like, pick a task and then code it, chip it, and that's it. <laughs> that was oversimplified. Obviously, there is more to it as a software engineer and in its core, software engineering is a lot of problem solving. Yes, we write code, but we learned how to write code and that's not always easy. And on top of that, there are different languages to learn. In web development alone, there's JavaScript, TypeScript, React, Angular, Vue, and dare I say, PHP. But that's not all of it. There are best practices and industry concepts and principles like CICD, UI automation testing, cloud infrastructure, security, analytics, accessibility, performance, the list goes on. So I guess my point is, it's a very technical and domain specific expertise where there are always opportunities to learn. There's a new challenge to look forward to and it never really gets boring. Every day, for every feature you build, it presents new challenges and new opportunities. And when you feel like you've peaked, a new version of React comes out and you get excited all over again. But that's just the technical part. There's more. So one thing that we also do and I tend to do especially for this team is also write the requirements for the application that we're building and I know I mentioned that you know it's just all about writing the code and whatnot for the most part but you also have to have a good understanding of the system and the product that you're building. I noticed some gaps in terms of the modern data structure um, patterns versus what we currently have. So I'm just writing an investigation card to see if we can improve what we've got further. So it's not just about coding, it's also about writing requirements and identifying those requirements too. So let me show you what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Did you get private information from that? 
It's lunchtime and today I'm just making like a really simple, super quick um, lunch and that is the um, Korean tuna pancakes um, called Changchi Jeon. It's such an easy meal to cook and it's super good for lunch, especially when I only have an hour to, you know, have my lunch and it's quite an enjoyable meal as well. So let's make it now. After lunch, it was just back to coding and today the feature I'm working on is to build the foundation for a new page. And gosh, my posture is so bad. Anyway, all I had to do was enable feature flagging for the new page route and then fetch the data from the API, which is how most websites work. I always ensure the quality of my work through unit testing, zero excuses. And then I was able to open the pull request and jump to my second and last meeting of the day. And of course, Darms and her two cents, I don't even know what my hands are doing at this point. <laughs> so I have finished um, writing the code, I've raised the pull request and I'm just waiting for a re-review. It is... It's 4.58 and I think I'm already gonna call it a day just because there's nothing left to do and we're just wasting our time here if I stare at the computer. So yeah, that is the end of my work day and that was just like a day full of coding. That was like what? Five hours of coding? So it was really productive. I was able to um, address some pull request comments and keep pushing through um, features. And then tomorrow it's just gonna be another feature that I'm gonna pick up and code, test, deliver. It's just a cycle. <laughs> So it is gym time at around 6 o'clock um, because I go to the weekly Zumba class and um, yeah, it's just something I enjoy and I generally hate cardio anyway so that is my way of doing cardio so after those long hours of just sitting down and stretching occasionally, you know gotta stay active and gotta do something so come and join me at the gym! just winding down now so after gym just got home showered and now i am preparing dinner and we're having sausage but yeah that pretty much sums up my day and um, this is more of a normal day where it was very quiet and focused sometimes productive sometimes not but it's very chill so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video Bye.